what are the age groups, what is the aim of the program. So I work for the Indigenous Education Department at Nara College, supporting all types of learners from academic upgrading, diplomas, post-grad, and alternative programming. Our program is firmly committed to developing new and better ways to meet the growing needs of Indigenous students. We have a strong partnership with Indigenous communities and understand Indigenous culture and tradition. Um, most of our learners are anywhere from 18. Did you talk about how you measure success of your program? I would say that success is best measured by the means of the student. Uh, we will see this in the retention rates and academic measures. Our main focus is about keeping students engaged in the lounge as a safe space to learn and grow. Studies have found that Indigenous students will thrive if they're in a similar environment uh, to their community. So we would say that if we can engage our students and retain them in the lounge, that that's our measurement of success. I would say the lounge um, aims at meeting the needs of all urban and on reserve Indigenous students um, who come to the college, some as far as Thunder Bay, um, to our local students as well who have grown up right here in the region. Uh, we want to make sure that we're mirroring some of the objectives that they're finding in their community. So we have a visiting elder that comes weekly. We offer soup luncheons. Um, we have cultural workshops, self-exploration, healthy stress management, academic supports, and community development. We want to make sure we're mirroring that holistic approach um, to make it more inclusive to a family setting. Um, some of our target programming will be focused more on health wellness. Um, we have a SEATS program that we run, um, a mentorship program for our students, because we understand that peer support is very important uh, for the success of our students. So we want to make sure that we're um, not only measuring success within ourselves but within each other so we can see that um, as a progressive for the whole of the lounge. Nice. Done. So you're talking about uh, the success of the program and we're talking about how you see uh, a change in your students, positive change in your students because of the program or the lounge. I would say that you can see the growth of each student um, through the initiatives they're taking within the lounge. So a lot of times we'll have faculty or support staff looking for guest speakers um, or student input, and they'll come to the lounge looking for that guidance. And I think mirroring uh, the recommendations through the TRC, we're kind of empowering that type of voice within academia. So we will utilize our students' voice um, as the experts so taking a different approach to traditional knowledge and letting the students act as the expert of their field. Uh, this is empowering to them. Uh, this is an opportunity for the college to learn a different way of understanding knowledge. Uh, and it's a way in which we see growth of our students to kind of um, tap in to that type of knowledge they've been given from their ancestors um, and bring it into the setting. That's really cool. Very cool. Another question that I have here is, what challenges have you faced and how have you overcome them to make the program a success? I think in this type of setting, uh, this type of learning setting, um, there is a key concept about space and taking up space. So ultimately, we are provided a lounge uh, at both campuses that is designated to Indigenous self id students. But our identity is greater than that space. So it's about taking up space in other locations across the campus where you may or may not have already had um, an experience with Indigenous content or Indigenous people. Many faculty or support staff might not recognize um, if there's an Indigenous person in their classroom or if that's one of their clients. So we're here to take up that space to kind of have that identity for our students. That's one of our challenges. Uh, for question two, from your perspective, what is Indigenous education? Indigenous education is about creating a culturally sensitive space um, in an environment where Indigenous students are able to explore their identity and share their culture. Um, it's supposed to be a positive experience. Um, this should be a safe space for them to talk about um, some of their experiences across the campus. Ultimately, majority of our students um, are taking that perspective of two-eyed seeing, living within two worlds, whether they're just coming into their culture or whether they're challenging Western ideology. Um, this is an opportunity for them to kind of understand their place within the college. There is a subculture that's already in place here. It's up to them to kind of find out where their identity meets. We focus highly on the cultural components 
um, within the lounge that keep them safe, smudging, having a circle, meeting with the elder. So these are all important to uh, important aspects of indigenous education. What is your vision for indigenous education over the next 10 years? Over the next 10 years, I hope to continue to be the bridge between indigenous education and the larger campus culture, um, to empower our students to take risks and challenge the norms, um, to foster a more inclusive academia. Right now, we hosted our second annual Indigenous Awareness Month. We've hosted film series, oh, nice. um, different workshops. Um, we're looking at more signage, more visibility. Um, for the next few years, it's, it's more about bringing Indigenous education to the greater um, parts of the campus so that when Indigenous students are in um, academia, they're able to see themselves oh. more visibly.